Hey everybody, John Padilla here of JP Total Fitness and I'm here in Dolphin Fitness in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn, New York. And this is another installment of the How To Series. I'll be going over a barbell squat. The squat is a foundational move for lower body strength as it will hit your quads and your glutes. But first, I want to go over a few common mistakes that people will make with the squat. So, mistake number one, no hip movement. All they'll do is bend at the knees, so they'll have the bar on their back and they'll just bend the knees going forward. Well, now what'll happen is that it puts a lot of pressure on your ankles, which means your toes are gonna come up and you put a lot of weight on the knees. Okay, that's mistake number one, just knee knee movement. Mistake number two is they might go too heavy and they'll just have a no using no core stability and they'll use a lot of back extension so the weight will actually move up more because of their back rather than pushing with the legs mistake number three that people will make is that they'll have no they'll well rather let's say, just say the knees will cave in so they're not making the knees and the toes go in the same direction and keep the push in a nice straight line the knees will cave in and as a result you will damage the ligaments in your knees at some point or another. And another common mistake that people would make is that they'll just, they might do everything right, seemingly right, but they'll just press on the toes. So you have to make sure you're pushing through the heels. I mean, there's a common technique that people use where they will put some kind of elevated surface right above the heels and push off on the toes for greater quad recruitment, but that will put pressure on your knees over the long run. So, the few basic points that I would like to remember is push through the knees, knees and toes going in the same direction, keep your core tight, and imagine that you're pushing down through the floor. So don't imagine that you're pushing up, pushing down. I am not using shoes in this shoot, like I did with the deadlift video, which you should check out right after this one. And that's because I want my feet to really feel the floor, okay? Sometimes with shoes it can be a little tricky. I feel like sometimes my shoes kind of rattle around in my, my feet rattle around in my shoes or I really can't feel the floor so I take them off. If you are going to wear shoes, you should wear something with, with a flat sole or Converse All Stars. If you are going to go with your socks, make sure, well, if you, if you are going to go without shoes, make sure you're wearing socks so that way you don't gross people in the gym out. So, I've got my bar set up here. Make sure that the bar is at a level where you could get it up over the mount. So as you see, there's a little lip here in the front of the mount. Make sure your shoulder is just high enough so that way when you're on that last set and you're fatigued and you've got to put it back, you don't have to do a toe raise to get it up there. So the bar should be right across the traps, not on the base of the neck as, as you could hurt yourself right there. You want it right on the traps, okay? And I'm gonna use the lines on the bar to set my hands up so that everything is tight. Now, when I get underneath the bar, I want the heels right underneath the bar so that everything is in a straight line. If I have my feet too far forward here or too far back, I'm pushing with my back. That's one thing that you don't want. You can really hurt yourself that way. So I've got my heels underneath. Everything's going to push straight up. So I'm going to hold my abs tight and push right up here. Okay. So I'm ready to begin. I have my feet just at about shoulder width with my toes going slightly out. I'm gonna make sure my knees follow in the same direction. As, as I start, I'm going to push my butt back first, then my knees will follow. And then I'm gonna push right up. So, butt back, I'm gonna push through the heels right down through the floor, and as I come up, I'm gonna squeeze my quads. You can also squeeze your glutes too, if you're looking to build a booty. So, butt out first, bend, get the thighs to parallel, drive it through the floor. Make sure I'm, you're not locking the knees out on top. Drive it through the floor. I'm gonna go for one more. Butt out first, bend the knees, thighs to parallel, and drive it through. Another few health, helpful tips that I wanna share. When you have the bar, if you wanna really stabilize the core, Make sure, imagine you're doing a lat pull down. So as you hold the bar, imagine you're pulling it down into your shoulders. It'll help you to stabilize everything a lot more and keep the abs tight. Another thing with squats is that a lot of people will say ass to grass. 
which means that the range of motion should get so that your butt goes past the knees. The problem with that is not everybody is constructed for ass to grass. If you see, when I do it, there's a certain point where my butt actually caves in underneath me, which means that I'm compromising my erector spinae, especially if I'm going heavier, I could hurt my lower back. So, unless you have the back and the hip flexibility, ass to grass may not work for you. So your main focus should be to get as low a range of motion as possible, but still keeping your back flat. Once your back starts to bend that way, that means you're going too far. It's no one's fault, that's just the way your body is constructed. I hope all these points help. If you like, you can reach out to me at my website, jptotalfitness.com, and shoot me an email. You could also look me up on Facebook, jptotalfitness.com, and Instagram, jptotalfitness.com. I want you guys to burn it up. Thanks for watching.